Peggy 12. When you dive into Elder Scrolls Online, one of the first things you're going to notice is that there's a lot of interactivity in the world. There's barrels around, there's crates around, you're like, what's going on here? So you, you start to click on them and you say, oh, there's there's items in them, there's, there's fruits, there's vegetables, there's grains. But it's not just useless stuff. Right now, you can take any one of these items that you find and it's going to be part of a recipe. It's going to be part of our crafting system. Yes, you'll go out into the world, you'll explore, you'll find plants and many other things that you can expect. But it all starts right in town and it starts right up as you get into the game of, wow, I can create something, I can craft something almost immediately in starting the experience. There's more than just crafting resources in the world. For instance, there's books that you find for the Mages Guild. And there's also fishing. You can compete with your friends to catch the biggest fish and then depending on the bait you use, you'll catch different fish. There's also Munda Stones, and Munda Stones kind of give you special powers. There's Sky Shards, and you use Sky Shards to increase your skills. And throughout the world, there's chests hidden in secret places. And these chests have locks on them that when you increase your skill with lock picking, you're able to get better and better gear. And all of these are just a sample of the reasons you'll want to explore the world of Tamriel. <laughs>